All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, next gen. We got some supposed information. I don't know if it's real or not. I mean, looking at it, uh, it appears to be good, but um, we know that people, the skills of Photoshop is, is too tough in the 2K community, right? This ain't the first time we've seen something like this. Anyway, man, I'm about to show it to you guys, and we can speculate together right after this. Edo! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that heavy. Alright, so if you don't do nothing else, this video comes from my guy Ron Jesus, man. Hey, look, check it. Ron Jesus YT. Go over there, check him out. Look at the original video. Link will be down in the description. We will be putting this, you know, his link in the description. Go over there. Give him a like on the video. He's trying to get his YouTube going and stuff like that. Y'all know how hard it is to get YouTube popping, man. But anyway, look, man. This is what we got, man. It's, this is supposed to be next gen, my player, builder. And like I said, man, this is supposed to be a leak or what have you. Something like that. Like I said, I don't know how true it is. I don't know how real it is. If I had to, if I had to judge it, I would probably say, eh, probably it's not. And I'm, I'm gonna just tell you why. Uh, it would be a dope idea, but these lines aren't straight enough for me. And it could just be because you know how they how they've done it off of the TV and stuff like that. Can y'all see my mind? So like these lines aren't straight enough. Uh, that doesn't look straight enough. And uh, like like certain things don't look straight enough, right? And uh, it just looks like, this looks like it's kind of a weird font and it's kind of jaggedy around here. Whatever, I don't care. It's fun to speculate. I'm just letting you know, like if I had the gun to my head, I would say it's probably not the, the most real, but it would be cool as hell if it was. And, and I'm just being duped to something like that. Cause this would be dope. Like if you could set everything like this, cause right here, you're gonna see, uh, this says uh, finishing or whatever. And you know, you got what, finishing. You, that's probably shot close, uh, driving layup, driving dunk, standing dunk. Uh, and you got post control instead of having uh you know post hook or whatever it's just post control so it's like like this is something old like from probably 2k17 or what have you how it used to be then you got um then you got uh mid-range uh three-point shot and uh free throw so that's cool that's kind of like 2k17 esque then you got uh passing accuracy he got that all the way up to 91 ball handling and uh speed with ball that's some dope and then defense they got interior defense uh perimeter you got steel you got block offensive rebound and defensive rebound and so that, that's cool right there man and then um we got the physicals i'm gonna take my cam off real quick and then that way you can see it looks like they're gonna look like you're supposed to be able to do your physical so you can do uh speed acceleration strength um i don't know what it is vertical and stamina that would be dope as hell if they let us do that and we used to be able to do that stuff, man, in 2K17. I want to say with the 2K17, my player builder, you could do all of that stuff. You could put your speed. I know you could do strength. I want to say you could do stamina and stuff like that. But, you know, we, 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 there was things that people just maxed it out. Um, now we got the pie charts and the little cookie cutter joint. But in 2K17, you used to be able to choose an archetype and then it would have the limits based on everything and you could literally go it wasn't the speed and whatever pie chart you could just go in and max it out according to your height size and all that and that became a little bit of a problem because people had the stretch fives um with a 94 three ball and and crazy you know what i'm saying like it was crazy 94 contested three that's when they first shoot over those and all this stuff like that man so like i would love it if this did come back and then uh this is an even better idea and don't look even if it's not real, expect 2K to take this next gen or what have you, because it looks like, uh, uh, we know not next gen, but the next game. Because looking at this stuff, man, look at this right here. It's got, it's got, um, what, what is this right here? It's showing uh, the potential badge points that you can get. So he would have like six finishing. And I mean, like with all this finishing and they only gonna give you six, I guess. All that shooting and they only gonna give you nine. And that's not a whole lot of playmaking. And they're gonna give you 21 and then he got defense maxed out so they're gonna give you 30 but it's like he is a he's a power forward uh with a, a 69 power forward with a 77 wingspan so i mean that's ridiculously long arms i suppose so he probably got max arm strength arm length but look though then it's got the um it's got like you see i only it says like you only got the potential to have clamps on gold that would be dope like a big man shouldn't have the potential to have clamps on Hall of Fame. You 6'9", you're a power forward. 
why would you have the potential to have clamps on Hall of Fame? That would be dope as hell if it was like that. Like uh, certain things like a guard should not have the potential to have Hall of Fame rim protector. A guard should only have the potential to have something like silver, silver rim protector based on the guard stats. So if it based it off of your height and your ratings and stuff like that, that would be dope as hell. And then it just says, you know, down here it says un unlock. Unlock badge points through gameplay. Yeah, we know about that. And individuals' badges became avail become available as you um as you meet attribute requirements. That would be dope as hell. So like, let's say if I have um let's say if I got something like Hall of Fame limitless range, but I got a 75 three ball to start with. I got a 63 ball to start with, and then it would probably end up at an 88 or something like that. That would be dope as hell if it was like. Okay, you you can't you can only get bronze. Um, you you only be able to get the bronze equivalent of the shooting badge until you got so you get the 75. You could probably get silver. When you hit 80, then you'd be able to get um gold, and then you would get 85. You'd be able to get like Hall of Fame, something like that. That would be dope as hell. Or you know maybe like 75, you could get Hall of Fame, 75 and up. But anything under that, you you know you just had to build your way up to it. That would be dope. Or if you didn't have uh, like you say, he got a low steal rating, so he shouldn't have to, he shouldn't be able to get pickpocket or interceptor on anything other than bronze. That would be crazy if they did something like that, man. But you know, like I said, we don't know how true any of this is. But like I said, you see, he got an assortment of badges here. So with shooting badges, the shooting is not that high. He only got a 66 three ball, uh, and that probably would max out at like what 74. But he got a 70 some mid range, so you got to get a lot of gold badges. You can you can't get many. Hall of Fame badge. It's like clutch shooter. That, that should be something that you should be able to have on Hall of Fame and stuff like that. Dead Eye, you know, that would be cool. Maybe that's on silver or something like that. So I think that would be dope. Volume shooter, you can only get it on gold. I think that would be really crazy if they did something like that and uh, had it like that. Then we're going to go forward. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section if that would be dope. Then we're going to go forward to, like I said, Ron G's, he got it here. But the takeover chooser and it's just like you know you got the takeover and it's like see the future show where the ball show where a missed shot is gonna go unlock the um unlock more effective euros and spins and then the rim protector says you know like uh gives access to an increased ability to perform grab and swap blocks and uh backboard pins and then when you move forward or what have you um it shows that you know you got different types of the same takeover so it just says you could you could have rim protector and then you would drop the offensive players badges down a tier uh you know when they run to the paint or you get easier blow buys or something like that and then the glass cleaner it says uh boost your ability boost your teammates offensive abilities on the on kick out like that would be dope as hell if they had different versions of the same uh takeovers and stuff like that and like i said man from what I understand, I cannot tell you if this information is real. It's not been vetted. I don't have a source through which to vet it. I just saw that other people were putting it up. And uh, I felt like, hey, you know, why not give it a spin and let you guys look at it and see if it had any legs. Do you think that it's real? Like I said, me personally, I don't think it's real. Um, just because of the fact that of how things were colored in and stuff like that. Like I said, the, the biggest giveaway to me was like right here what this is uneven and stuff like that like it, it it just doesn't and then this is uneven up here and uh that x doesn't look right you know stuff like that so it's just things like that in it that make me feel like it's not real but if it is i stand corrected i'll be a man and eat my words just like i was on the stuff where you know with the people cheating and stuff but anyway y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section is it real wouldn't it be dope if it was real and they gave you the freedom to build your guy and you built your guy from the ground up and they assigned you a name based on what you put together that would be dope instead of them giving us these cookie cutter pie charts and saying hey you just gotta do whatever because if this was real i'm maxing out shooting and i'm maxing out defense and i'm gonna give myself a little layup and i'm gonna be a center you see what i'm saying I, and i max out speed and stuff like that still the physicals need to go according to your height size weight and stuff like that i do feel like they need to control those and then like like they can even control the shooting based on so like my guy has an 85 three ball i would have a stretch that i would have an 85 three ball and then i would have maxed out defense and so i could be a two-way stretch that would be dope as hell to me if i could do that and have all the bads but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section do y'all think they're gonna go this way uh we we put we i know you guys are probably gonna say you don't think it's real or y'all already know that it's not real maybe you got a source that already has told you that it's not real but wouldn't it be dope if it was like it would just be cool if, if you could see it just like this too man but uh 
who knows, man? We will see. It sounds too good to be true, and we know 2K is not in the business of doing the things that that really seem good. Even though when I said on my stream, you know what would be dope if they would make jump shot landings pop automatically if you green the shot, and then the next year they did. So we know that they we know that they listen to the community and take ideas and stuff like that. Or like when I was on stream that day and I said, hey, um, I'm playing against a center on 2K16. And he's got all the dribble moves and he can do all of this stuff and he can move like a guard as long as he's using the move. Wouldn't it be great if y'all locked off certain dribble moves and certain dunks and stuff by the person's attribute rating? 2K17, they did it. So I already know they listening to me and stuff like that, man. So, you know, they just won't never tell me because then they probably got to put me on payroll or something like that. Hey, we can get the gym stars on payroll, but let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak! Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn. Please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn, cause I ain't buying. I'm only 5'8, that's fine, nigga. I can give a heart transplant to a giant. I ain't lying, God speak. God speak, God speak. We good.